Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies. Now here on day 143, part 3 of our episode. Uh, we got disconnected when I was bringing the chickies outside, but that's because, well, my internet can be quite horrible. Especially when going from outside to inside. We are off of Wi-Fi now, so we are completely dependent on the whims of the wireless carrier. We have our little Braveheart here on my knee. We got Kagome and Stormy here in the coop here in the backyard. We are enjoying a nice little fall day. I'm going to be bringing out some more feed and the chickens uh, water for, the, for them as they enjoy today. The temperatures are just lovely out here today. Braveheart's enjoying a bit of time with me. She just missed pooping on me, which is always a good thing. Oh, and she's decided, you know what? I'm gonna go join Kagome for a little bit of a walkabout. Stormy's just doing a little bit of poking around outside. And we are just here in the lower backyard. There's another sort of area to the yard over there they sometimes go to. But they're just sticking to their coop at the moment. They are kind of most comfortable in this area. So we have quite a lot of space for the chickens to go around in. We have the old play set that came with the house over there. We don't have kids, but we do have chickens. On the other side of the wall is a sort of a sports field over there. Oh, what is it, Stormy? What is it? Just eating a bit of grass there, my son? Oh my, oh my. And the girls are just going about, doing a little bit of scratching. We have the uh, door open here, which we uh, keep open for them as long as there's either myself or Lauren out here with them. And that's just to keep them safe from any local predators while they're out here. Any, most of the local predators like foxes, um, raccoons and such, they mostly operate when it is... Uh, dark. So during the daytime hours, it's not that much of a danger. Um, we have a lovely bit of um, clover nearby. So let's go ahead and grab some clover for the chickens. I think they'll enjoy that as a treat. So we're just going to walk over here to our honor yard. As we can see, we have a giant clover patch here. So I'm just gra gonna grab some for the chickens. They are big, big fans of clover. So they are gonna be very, very happy with me when they see me coming with a fistful of clover. Here we go. And we let it kind of grow out like this just to give them a lot more to kind of uh, eat around, to forage from. Uh, no chemical is used on this clover. So it's all nice and safe for the chickens. Um, and Banalis, it would be a lovely project for us to uh, make a bigger coop for them. Uh, now that we're here in fall, it might take a while for us to get to that point. Um, work has picked up, so I've gotten a little bit more money, so it might take a bit more savings to get to that point. All right, guys, all right. Dad brought you some nice clover there. There we go. 
There we go. I know, fresh clover for the chickens. Oh my, oh my. Stormy. 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 There you go. Yeah, Stormy loves clovers. Oh, so does Braveheart. Stormy. There you go. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Hey. Now that was Stormy trying to mate with Braveheart and Braveheart not really appreciating it. Oh, it's okay, Braveheart. Braveheart. Go back in. Go back in. Go on. It's okay. Oh dear, Braveheart. Oh dear. All right, come here, Braveheart. Come here. There we go. There we go. You be with Dad. You be with Dad for a bit. I know, I know. Want to be on top of the coop for a bit? Oh dear. Sometimes our Stormy, well, he gets really ahead of himself. We can hear Kagome kind of telling him off right now. That was not cool there, Stormy. Oh dear. Here, let's give our brave heart some more treats. There you go, my girl. There you go. Lovely clovers for a lovely, lovely girl. All right, more clovers for you. There you go. Lovely. Well, Stormy's happy with the clover. Want to get back down there, Braveheart? Okay, hold on. Let's get you back down. Let me open up the coop and get you back in that way. There we go. There we go. Kagome, just checking out that Braveheart's okay. Braveheart goes straight for the clover. Stormy, Stormy, Stormy. Give Braveheart some room. It's okay, Braveheart. It's okay. I'm glad they're banalis. It's nice just to watch the chickies go about in their coop to enjoy a little bit of fresh greens. Um, I'm going to go and grab their um, water and their food and bring it out to them. So their coop all sort of locked up at the moment kind of looks like this they have their bigger um, area inside to shelter if there's any sort of uh, rain um, if they were sleeping here at night we would be putting in a whole bunch of bedding materials over here um, at the moment they don't sleep in here at night so we haven't put any bedding materials there And then they have to sort of run down here and over there, their little ladder to go in and out. Let's go grab their food. Let's grab their water. 
and then we'll sit outside with them for a bit longer. Hopefully we stay connected as I go in and out of the house here. It's not always a guarantee. Back to the chicky area. Got their water, got their food. Now going back here, get to see uh, my old couch for a second there. Which was uh, something I found at an estate sale that we're gonna be reupholstering a bit. It's from the 1880s, I believe. Made in Boston, apparently. My little Nissan Pow. There we go. And now, back to the chickens. Whole bunch more clucking. Hello there, little ones. Hello. All right. What is it, Kagome? What is it? There we go. Always need some water for our little chickies. There we go. Water. Food. A bunch of grass, a bunch of curious chickens, and we are set, aren't we? You get a whole bunch of sun, you get all of this wonderful company, and you are all set. So for anyone just joining us, this is Watching Chickies, the daily live stream here on Reddit and later YouTube about the lives and development of these three young chickens. So anyone, feel free to ask any sort of questions, just chat a little bit. There we go. Uh, the weather today is quite lovely. Um, not really a cloud to be seen anywhere. Uh, here it is fall. Uh, the temperature is just great. Um, I don't even really need to be wearing a sweater right now. The chickens really seem to be enjoying it. Uh, last week we had actually a couple of days where it was snowing. The chickies were not fans of such low temperatures. And uh, if it's spring where you are, well, that is just great. That must mean you are... Uh, probably in New Zealand or like Australia, and that is just lovely. And polarity, yep, you're seeing the chickies outside at the moment. Uh, the internet appears to be connected. There is a bit of random uh, music coming from the the school next to our house, which is quite festive. What do you think of that, Stormy? Oh dear. Oh my, oh my. And the girls are just kind of focused on eating now. Oh, thanks. Yeah, the house is just over there. And they are just on this lower uh, yard. We are sort of on a hill plot in the corner. We have another yard over there on the hedge. And then you saw before when I was plicking, uh, picking up clovers, we have a third little yard um, over to the other side of the house. So um, when we bring the chickens over there, they have a lot of, um, you know, room to roam. And even though we're still pretty close to a lot of things because of the fences, because of the corner plot, we are rather kind of shielded from the rest of the neighborhood. And the chickens are pretty happy as a result. Now 
There we go. Oh my, Stormy. Oh my. Are you a happy boy now that you're outside? Yeah? You were crowing so much when we left with the girls. You were. You were just saying, where did you bring the girls? Oh my. There you go. Let's see. Yeah, there's still a lot of clovers down there, guys. Still a lot of clovers. Oh yeah, we have a pretty nice neighborhood over here. Let's see. I can do a little... I still need to get a lot of these leaves done. I'll probably do a little bit more raking today. So this is the sort of bottom level that we have the chickies over here. And then... Over here we have the upper sort of level here where we can occasionally bring the chickens for a bit more shade. Got our weird tree over there, our weird willow. And it's quite nice. There we go, little chickies. Oh, and Braveheart, going right next to the... Here. Do you want to say hi, Braveheart? Do you want to come here? Want to come here? Want to come here? Yeah? You're not sure? Is Stormy being frisky again? Oh, dear. No, not I, says Stormy. No, not I. Oh, dear. There we go. Yeah? Oh, come here, Stormy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let's have a little time, a little boy's time here. Let's give the girls time to eat, and I will give you a little cuddle. A little cuddle in the sun. I know you want to go play with the girls again. Oh, dear. So girl crazy. So girl crazy right now, Stormy. Yeah? Oh, my. I think I'm going to have to bring out some more feed for the girls soon. They are getting through their food quite quickly. So in a couple of minutes, I think I'll end at our usual 2.30 time today. So in about 10 minutes or so, I'll go back inside. I'll uh, replenish their uh, little food dish here, and then we'll let them have a little bit of private time. Oh, and Connecticut can be quite a lovely state. Uh, we are full of um, lots of trees. There are a lot of lovely little state parks. Um, we are quite close to New York. We're close to Massachusetts. Um, so it's a nice place to, to be in. Uh, it doesn't take too long to get anywhere. There we go. Uh, when you're driving through certain areas like the, uh, the Merritt Parkway, you know, you're just driving through all of these, like, dense forests. You just see trees everywhere. 
It's really nice to see all the greenery. Oh my, Minnesota is such a big state and it does get so cold in the winters from what I've heard. So much snow. Oh, and my little Stormy, you're keeping such a good lookout for the girls there. He's just keeping a nice lookout as the little rooster, as the girls just enjoy their food. Good job, my little Stormy. Oh, and it's nice to sometimes uh, change your perspective by going to new places. I've lived in a bunch of different places myself. Uh, started off in Tokyo, um, coming here to the States. I've lived in um, Leeds in the UK, um, up in uh, West Yorkshire. Uh, my family is actually originally... Well, at least my grandparents' generation, because before that it was also Scotland and Ireland as well, uh, from the Newcastle area in the uh, in England. So it's been nice getting a sort of a perspective around different places. Makes you appreciate some of the things that you have at home. It makes you appreciate some of the things that you find elsewhere, and it gives you just a nice. Uh, broader understanding of how other people live. Are you going to join them for a meal there, Stormy? You going to be a good boy? Yeah? Okay. Well, Dad's going to keep a close watch on you right now. And there are some happy little chickens right now. Oh, going for the clover over there? No? Oh, Stormy's going for that clover. Yeah, a little bit of greens in your diet. Yeah, when I'm outside with the chickies, I tend to be a little bit more quiet. Just kind of watch them go about their business. Enjoy the sun, enjoy the grass, enjoy just pecking about. This time is usually my time of... I don't know, just like a little bit more me meditation without the talking. You want to try to eat a leaf there, Kagome. You don't want to eat this leaf. It's brown. Look at it. It's brown. It's dead. It's not going to give you nutrition. Here, look. Do you want it anymore? See? No, it's yucky. It's yucky leaf. There's no nutrition in that. It's yucky leaf. Oh my. No. Oh. Well, I think I have a potential work thing coming in through my email right now. So we are going to be ending it here for today's Watching Chickies. I'd like to thank you all for joining me today, all of my old friends here and new. Um, we will be back uh, tomorrow. I am on set, so it is very likely we are going to be having another Chicken Mom episode with Daunting Walnut tomorrow. Um, 
So I will try to post details about what time she will be streaming tomorrow. But um, if I don't post... No, I will definitely be posting. So um, she will definitely be doing a show. Hopefully it will be around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, yeah, I'll look forward to seeing you all again on Tuesday. This was a lovely time as always. And from our lovely little chickens, our hen Kagome, our honor hen Braveheart, and our little rooster Stormy, we all wish you the very best of days. Wish you, you know, a good morning, a good afternoon, and a good night there. All right, guys. Bye-bye. See you all again very soon.